I wouldn't normally want to see him, but he's getting a TV show. And I'm talking hey, about on. Loki. Lamont, hold on. Before before you get jump into that, let me just say one thing, right? Yeah, go, go for it. Oh, oh God. Y'all. Oh, Killmonger God. for life. <laughs> Killmonger for life. Yeah. I'm just saying. The true leader of Wakanda. We go ahead and burn all that. My king, we cannot do that. It is our tradition. <laughs> when I tell you to do something, I mean that shit. Burn it all. That's right. Burn it all. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that actually was a, a a good clip that sort of that sort of caught him at a high point. <laughs> nice. Why you grab the auntie though? Why you grab the auntie by the neck and throw? <laughs> oh man, boy, I thought he was gonna call her the B too, but I guess Marvel ain't gonna let him go that far. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they were. They I, I, I were thought he was going. I head. thought he. I uh, mean, did did you hear the bass in his voice? When I say burn, I mean that it, shit. It, that was, boy, <laughs> I thought he was gonna go ahead and finish the grandpa line, boy, because he he was in that joint. But anyway, <sighs> the 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 character I'm talking about is Loki. He's mm. getting his own TV show, and I said I really wouldn't care to watch it unless he the show was gonna be taking place in Asgard. I don't mind watching it if it was there, but. Yeah. Fellas, I found a leak. I searched uh. YouTube and the web for the best leaks, and I got a leak on the show that might make y'all want to watch it like me. Let's take a look. I've gone through this plot leak of season one, episode one of the Loki show, and try to make some sense of it. Since the leaker says that they're from China, and obviously English isn't their first language. But the original version will be on the screen if you want to try to make some sense of it. And I'll read you my version, which will hopefully be a little easier to understand. Also, I should mention that this could contain spoilers, so if that'll affect your viewing experience in any way, please click off the video now. And if not, then take it with a grain of salt, as although it for the most part sounds okay, it's very badly written and could easily be fake. The show begins with Loki in a TVA interrogation room, Special Agent Mark played by Owen Wilson is briefly introduced, and explains how they caught Loki with the Tesseract. He'll then tell Loki that he's actually from the past, and will blame him for everything that's happened. The actions of the Avengers opened a wormhole in the multiverse that the TVA have to fix, which they're now calling the Fault. I'm not sure, but didn't Eric Selvig talk about a Fault in Thor 2? Might have been something else, but let me know in the comments if you think he was predicting this event, or if they're completely different. Mark then explains that the Rift consists of three universes, which will continue to appear in the MCU after these events. There's the main universe with the Avengers, a universe with an alternative land, which might be talking about the ultimate universe that's rumored to be coming and could be how they introduce the X-Men, and lastly, a universe with a quantum catastrophe, which could be how the Fantastic Four arrive. Loki refuses to help and breaks out of his cuffs, running out into the hallway, almost making it to the room where the Tesseract is, but before he can touch it, time begins to rewind, and he finds himself once again in the chair. Agent Mark tells him he has no choice, and leaves him in the interrogation room, alone with the files on the deaths of Odin, Frigga, and himself at the hands of Thanos due to his actions. Then we see Richard E. Grant's character, Mr. Mills, who will be the main antagonist in the show. He orders Mark to proceed to the second part of the plan and tells him that it is much more dangerous than him, and I'll explain what's more dangerous than him in a second. We then see a huge room filled with TVA agents who all look almost the same. Then they go over to a Mobius table, which monitors the fault to check for new information. It's here that we learn what's more dangerous, a female version of Loki. It also goes on mm. to confirm that there is in fact the multiverse, which we already knew, but it says that in an alternate universe, Loki killed Thor and is attacking New York. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I didn't care for Loki that much, but I mean, uh, Larry, will this make you want to see a Loki streaming series? Uh, oh boy. I don't know. I mean, are they going to bring Tessa Thompson in there? I mean, who's going to be Loki? Is it going to be the same dude, or are they going to find a new a new dude no, to play it's, it? It's right. the same guy. Same guy. They, uh, Tom, Tom Hiddleston is going to stay Loki. Are they going to bring Tessa Thompson over there with them? For you what? Know? For what? For what? I mean, I, look, man. See, you always show your bias. <laughs> when, it come to, when it come to these females, you always show your bias. What the hell does Tessa Thompson got to do with Loki? I'm just saying, she, you know, she was, she's one of the warrior chicks. She was, you know, I forgot was her, I forgot her character's name and all, but you she's, know. she's the Valkyrie. And yeah, she's the Valkyrie, in, right, right. She, she is the new Lord of Asgard. She has no time to be dealing with a nitwit like Loki. 
Well, you know, like you said, you want to see him in Asgard, so maybe they'll maybe they can go ahead and start it off with him and you know on Earth, and then bring him up to Asgard, and then those two can go at it. You know, I don't know. It, it's, I mean, I don't want see. I I like the Marvel stuff, and I want to see it happen. I feel like some of it. They might need to slow down on some of it mm-hmm. because I think some I think the universe might be expanding too quickly, you know, okay. mm-hmm. and I think they might need to focus on some of the characters and let people absorb it a little bit, you know, but I feel I mean, because there was so much of it coming out, building up to to, to end game. And then it was like this big release. And and now I feel like I mean, we're getting a lot of information and maybe by the time a lot of these movies finally start to come out. I'll feel differently, but I guess I guess maybe part of the reason why I feel that way is because Loki just wasn't all that compelling to me. I just wasn't. I mean, like you, I guess I just wasn't all that much of a Loki fan. Mm-mm. You know, when I when I think about some of the Marvel stuff, I'm really looking forward to. I really want to see another Guardians. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm I, I'm really looking forward to another Guardians. I want to see another Deadpool. You know, anything, anything. Uh, you know, X Men, anything, please. You know, <laughs> T string, pa- Pastor String. Let me refer to you the way you you have made yourself today, Pastor String. Are you interested in the God of Mischief, Loki? You know, I, I think he I think he was an interesting character. I I may check it out. I I, I can't really say one hundred percent sure. Um, I like Marvel movies, Marvel TV shows. Sort of be like sort of bummed like out. DC movies. Yeah, and DC movies, but, but yeah, the TV shows are sort of okay, and sort of, and you know, and sort of like that. I don't know how how close that is, but sort of like uh, you know, Larry was just saying, man, hey, they they stretch this stuff out. You know, we'll have a lot of things going on when some of these movies come around. Our AARP cards, our hover. Oh rounds. my God! <laughs> <laughs> God, man. Our, our grandkids will be having Dang grandkids. It. So you know, we, oh we, we we'll, be on, we'll be on COVID twenty five then. Oh, you know, God, <laughs> man. We'll catch a movie before we pass from old age. Look, oh. man, if if there's any truth to this rumor, if if it's like this, I'm gonna watch it. The the one thing I feel what you guys are saying, but I'll say this about what Marvel is doing that I do like: they're taking the same guys that played these roles on the big screen and putting them on TV series. I yeah, like that. Right. I, no, I, I like that's, that. That's a definite plus right there. Right. Yeah, I like that's that. The, that is the best way to transition because I tried to watch that Agents of the Shield and it was it, it had me for like a season. Then mm. it just then it just went haywire, man. And then they tried to do Inhumans on ABC. Forget it. For, for, man, forget it. Yeah. But when you take the people that we've already learned, bring right. them on the small screen. Then you sprinkle in some of these other characters that are already on the small screen or these new people you want to add. Then I think that can be the winning strategy. So yeah. I'll, t- I, I'll I re- tell you the go ahead. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you the reason why I think that that DC movies do better on TV versus Marvel is that Marvel, the comics in Marvel are are, are darker than DC. I mean, the, their storylines, their it just everything is darker in the in the Marvel universe. And and so it doesn't really transition well to TV because TV needs to be much lighter and 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 watered down. And DC's already a bunch of just watered down fluff and stuff, anyways. But, but wait you a know? minute, wait a minute, man. DC <laughs> puts out the best animated cartoons we ever seen. They and do, they're... and that's why because it's all and they start with fluff and stuff. So it's so with the exception, you're right, with the exception of the animated movies that they put out. Those don't Man. go to those don't go to TV. Those are you know those are usually direct to video. And they but are like, dark, they're gritty, they're right. good. I mean they stuff good enough to make you break diet. <laughs> and you know I'm working on cuts for the sluts. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I'm working on cuts for the baby, and <laughs> they'll make you break diet. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you about to get cut up in there? Hey, hey, man, that's another way to get them cuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't trying to get them though. No, I don't want those kind of cuts. <laughs> you know, 
no, no. So I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave Loki right there. You know, you it might not be give, bad though. It might not yeah, be yeah. bad. I'm. I'm gonna give it a shot. Y'all, yeah. I don't have all this Marvel gear in my house for nothing. I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah. It, last, it, it, go ahead, T Stream. It's, it's it's worth a shot, especially if they're gonna if they're gonna uh, use the same guy, and oh, yeah. it allows them to develop his story because I think they just they the 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 Loki that you you know the Loki that you would assume from the from the comic books had you know had such a a, a bigger role than what they how they played him in the movie. He was in the movies. He was basically just you know just a a, a trick pawn. You know, and this this gives them this gives them enough time to to develop a story, you know, uh, a story for him. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely it's definitely worth a shot to watch. And I, and I think the good thing is if they by bringing in the same guy to play him, it gives them the opportunity to bring in some of the other characters like they can bring in Thor or, you know, the Falcon, uh, or the, you know, Falcon, the Valkyrie, any of them. They can bring them any any of them in for like just like one episode or something so that. It's not like these guys have to worry about like, oh, I'm, 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 you know, I'm tarnishing my cachet by going on to TV. They can just simply show up for an episode, dip in and dip out, and they're good, you know. See? And so if they're doing, this, if they're going to have like a, a big episode for, you know, maybe a, a season finale, or maybe there's some big uh, mid season finale or something. Uh, I mean, it could be, it could be fun. We'll see, see? what happens with it. See? We'll see. see. It sounds to me like we need to be producing this damn thing. <laughs> no, ain't no, ain't nobody letting you get nowhere near producing anything because the only damn thing we're gonna see is this. Yeah, go ahead and burn all that. My king, we cannot do that. It is our tradition. <laughs> when I tell you to do something, I mean that shit. Burn it all. Man, ain't nobody trying to see that for no six hours. No, matter of fact, we're moving on. 